Welcome back guys, uh, let's continue. So we have a new quest, Nasty Habits, and we also have a needle in a haystack. So let's first finish this because it, when we started doing this main quest, we probably won't be able to do this one. So we have to speak to Yodok and get the wine. So to do so, we'll have to wait a bit longer for them to get up. I think the prayer starts at 4, so we're going to... Well, we're okay. We're going to start waking up at some point. Where? Where is Yodok? It's Antonius. Yodok. Oh, why are you waking me? I think it's a six o'clock for a meal. <sighs> Who would wake in 4 a.m. and pray for two hours? That seems like torture. I can't get up till 10, and if I have to work step, at 8, 8 a.m., it's horrible. Uh, I don't know how people work early. Hey, they're starting to move away. Well, that's Yodok. This is not a good. Okay, okay, finish that and let's slow stop. down. In a rush to pray. Slow. Why down. such haste? In a rush to pray. Slow Pay down. more attention, brother. Pay more attention. Watch your step. In a rush to pray. Pay more attention, brother. What troubles you? I was talking last night with the brother Cicators. It seems you're to fetch them a cask of wine. Like last time. Hey, well... Yes, it's true. I'd like to help you. Would you really do it? To get hold of the wine, we'll have to leave the monastery for a bit. I know it's forbidden, but we've no other option. If wine started going missing here, someone would notice. But to leave the monastery, we need the keys. And only the prior has those. Wait a moment. Are you saying I'm supposed to steal the prior's keys so I can go and steal wine somewhere else? Well, you see why I don't want to do it myself now, do you? I don't have what it takes. I, mean, I can't get those keys, but you could. Or, or you might be able to pick the locks. But you've done it once before, haven't you? Last time, the prior was sick. And he left the monastery keys in the Circator's care. So they unlocked the gates for me. This time we'll have to steal the keys. How can I get hold of the keys, do you think? I don't know. But it might be possible to do this without them. Brother Solarius, the cellar keeper, used to be a burglar. He knows his way around locks, and, and maybe could help us. If you could find a way to arrange it. Do you think he'll want to take part in theft? No, but he could give some advice, or maybe get some lockpicks to open the gate. You'll figure something out. If you think so, I can try. Once you have the key or some lockpicks, come and see me and we'll make our plan. I've read the abbot's book. It says in there that you're not as saintly as you make out. Actually, it seems like you're as lecherous as a boring rut. You broke into the abbot's quarters to spy on me? You, you won't get away with it. I wasn't interested in your opinion about what I did. 
What interests me is you and what the book has to say about you. I'm not going to tell you anything. I'm going to report you. Just try it, and I'll smack you so hard your feet won't touch the ground. No, 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 don't hit me. I won't say anything to anyone, I promise. About those keys. Did you get them? Keys? Or at least lockpicks. Yes, I have them. In that case, come before midnight to the Cloister Garden. I'll be waiting for you there. And we'll head off. I'm interested in... What can you tell me about Siskin? Well, he's always got a smile on the new friend. But I reckon he don't belong in the monastery. He spends more time dreaming of the world outside than tending to his duties. I'm surprised he hasn't been thrown out already. If he was up to me, he'd be out on his ear right away. Sounds like you don't... No, I don't. He isn't a proper monk, and he doesn't belong here. Listen, there's something I ought to tell you. Ha! I knew it! He's a villain! Uh, well, who are you, though? Oh, it, it's better not to ask, isn't it? It's always safer not to ask. Never mind that. Who's a villain? That's Siskin. I always thought he was an odd one, the way he carries on. But now it makes perfect sense. He's a criminal fleeing justice. You mean he's not going to morning prayers? So you notice that too? Ah, you've got the wrong end of the stick. That has nothing to do with anything. You think so? He definitely acts like a criminal. Who else would it be? That's what I'm trying to find out. What are you going to do to that fellow once you find him? I don't know yet. You should talk to the Circators or the Prior about it, not act on your own. Why such haste? This is the church for those who hold nothing dearer to them than Christ, who, because of the holy service, they have professed. And the fear of hell. So we'll have to go through whole day if we want to do that quest because he said before midnight. So yeah, it's going to be a bit boring. We could try to skip our duties by exiting a monastery then waiting. But that might actually get us in trouble. So yeah. Let's ah, run through Rico, it quickly. Me. I'm here to work. Okay. We'll do that. Uh, nope, we won't. We don't have materials. Uh, yeah, I actually dropped that book here. Is it stolen? I'll drop it on the floor. That's easier. Not to think about it. Don't want to get in trouble. Let's find those marigolds and finish this up. So many recipes. I think there are even more. Ah, Grego. I finished my work. Show me what you. What would you like? I'm interested. You're not alone. What? Many brothers think more about this. Yeah, this but is weird. Why it won't be grey? Uh, I've discovered something about... I see. Tell me more. Oh, yeah. That's all I know. If you find it. We know lots of stuff. I'm not sure if we should report everything to him. And don't want to report Siskin. 
Uh, I think it's 12 o'clock for library. And I left that book that we could have read. Mm. Yeah. Wait. So, what are we? 12? Okay, 12. 12. Benedicta tu in mulieribus e benedictus. Well, this is going to be screw you. I'm not going to waste time on this. <laughs> and he's going to yell at us. And we are done. Uh, I think it's four o'clock now for prayer. I should remember this stuff. I look at it like. 20 times already, uh, yeah. Praise be to our Lord Jesus. words, expounding the Lord's commandments in words to the intelligent among his disciples. Let him not love one more than another. That damned Sigismund, the lawless. In the night, I overheard the cicators in the cellar. They were talking about you. Oh no. So it's still not over. 
This isn't a life in service of God. This is purgatory. Lucas, what's going on? What do you think? Just like you, I saw the Circatus drinking and playing Hazard as if they were in a brothel. We'd be safer not to get mixed up in the affairs of our superior brethren. You're probably right, but I was naive and hoped I could fix things. I warned them if they didn't stop, I'd go and tell the prior. But instead of mending their ways, they vented their anger on me. You've picked the wrong people to make enemies of, Lucas, they told me. Now I can't even count how many days and nights I've spent locked up in solitary confinement for the tiniest offenses, or for no offense at all. What if I reported it? Aren't you afraid they'd start hounding you as well as me? Trust me, brother. You don't want to know what it's like. I'm not afraid of them. Brother, you have the courage I lack. May the grace of God be upon you. I'd like to know something about the other novices. I don't know much, but I... Will you tell me something about yourself? I... there's nothing I can tell you. I mean, where you're from, what sort of life you have. I'm a novice, and... You see, I'm looking for someone here. You're looking for someone? But you're a novice, aren't you? I am a novice. At least until I find the man I'm looking for. Why would you be looking amongst monks? You know, the laws of man aren't valid here. In the cloister, we're subject to divine law, the law of the church. I'm looking for a footpad who's hiding out here in the monastery. He had a hand in raising the Neuhof farm. He's taken many lives. Aye, I heard something about that. But why are you telling me all this? Because you could help me. It has to be one of the other novices. That can't be. Have you told the prior? What are you going to do to this man once you find him? Talk to him. Then I'll see. Do you have any idea which of the novices could be the imposter I'm looking for? I don't know, and I don't care to know. I wish you'd never told me. Now I won't be able to sleep at night. I've heard that you, um, well, that you enjoy the company of men. Is there any truth to it? What? How do you know that? I read it in the abbot's book. What? The abbot's book is locked up in his chambers, and he'd never allow anyone to read it. Did you break in? But why? Just so you could dig something up on me? I was looking for something else, but I just happened to come across your... story. No matter what you were looking for, you crossed a line that shouldn't be crossed. But don't worry, I won't tell on you if you promise me the same. Yes, you can call me a sodomite, a sinner, a monster, the spawn of Satan. But tell me this, Gregor. Can I help the way I am? I tell you, it's a test of my faith. A test so daunting you can't even imagine it. You're right. I found it interesting, but I'm not judging you. You are the way you are. You should be true to yourself. I'm glad you aren't like the others. Thank you for not passing judgment. I swear to God, I've never lain with another man. I've never sinned. When my father wanted me to find a wife and start a family, I told him the truth, and he had me sent here. And in a way, I was glad. My guilt had been consuming me, and I knew in the monastery I'd find peace. The Lord sees my soul, and he knows it's pure. There's something I should tell you. Something secret. I'm looking for someone here in the monastery. You're looking for someone? But you're a novice, aren't you? I am a novice. At least until I find the man I'm looking for. 
Why would you be looking amongst monks? You know, the laws of man aren't valid here. In the cloister, where s- I'm looking for a footpad who's hiding out. Aye, I, I heard something about that. But why are you telling me all this? Because you could help me. It has to be one of the other novices. That can't be. Have you told the prior? What are you going to do to this man once you- But I want change, and only a new abbot- I don't know yet. It won't be easy to drag this criminal away from the protection of the cloister. Unless the abbot gives his blessing. But I still can't believe it. Do you have any idea which of the novices could be the- I don't know, and I don't care- In a rush to pray, these novices, I'd pull those idlers by the ears. What have they done? Well, I left the torches because they were stolen, and there's Yodok. What would you like? Here I am. Just in time to manage it all. Once we're outside, we'll need to be careful, and we'll need to be quick. If we're not back before sunrise, someone will realize we've gone, and there'll be hell to pay. Where exactly are we going for the wine? Next to the monastery is the house of the custodian. A baron who provides military protection to the monastery will take the wine from him. Why go through all that trouble? Aren't the monastery wine cellars full? They are. But Brother Solarius keeps records of all the casks, and the prior checks them. They'd investigate if any went missing. Whereas, if someone outside loses the odd cask, they're not going to suspect as monks. That does sound reasonable. How do we do that once we're there? Will we need to break into the custodian's cellar? We needn't break in anywhere. It's on the ground floor and usually unlocked. It holds supplies for the whole craftsman's yard and every now and again, someone comes in to fetch something. The only thing we have to make sure is that nobody sees us. What particular wine are the cicadas after? They want some Znoimor wine. But there's no way we'll be able to tell what's what. We'll just grab a cask and head off. I doubt the custodian would have anything of poor quality in his cellar. The brothers will complain. 
They'll complain even more if they've nothing to drink at all. I'm ready. We can head off. All right. You have the outside keys, so get on locking. I think there was... Okay. Some chest with torches here. Let's try to find it because we are going to be stumbling around. Well, it's unlocked, dude. What is it, bro? Well... Okay. Yeah, at least we get a save game. Okay, that's that. Okay, that's not your dog. Hmm. Ah, Gregor, talk to me. Hmm, it's not on a map, but we know where they are. Kinda. As soon as I figure out what door was it. Here? Yes. What's there left to drink? Talk to me, brother. Talk to me, brother. Ah, down the hatch. Every goblin trace, isn't that the truth? No wonder. With our throats going dry all day. Next time we'll get the Yorok to bring some Rhine wine. I'm losing my taste for this one. Why doesn't Yorok drink with us anyway? He's young and he wants to look good in front of the others. And he doesn't trust us to keep him safe from harm if he got too drunk to make it to prayer. You mean like your good self last Christmas day? The way you drowned out the prior's voice by snoring through the Agnes Day? Don't remind me. Praise be to Christ, brother. What do you desire, brother? 
About you in the election, will you tell me more about it? Ask me anything you want. Thank you for answering. I don't know if we should report these guys or stick up for Lucas. I'm not sure. Now let's try this. I want to see what happens. Brother Circator, my friend. What would you like? To be relieved from duties? No, I'm here because of novice Lucas. I've heard there's some discord with him. Only because that weasel wants to put an end to our nighttime fun. So, we're letting him know who's in charge here. I'd appreciate it if you treat him like a brother again. Well, if he isn't afraid of us, there's nothing to stop him ratting us out. But what do you care, anyway? Grown fond of him, have you? He hates you because you trample all over him and he has nothing to lose. If you show him just a bit of kindness, he'll think again about taking you on. You'll see. Fine, you've convinced me. You can tell him things have been straightened out, but he'd better be on his best behavior from now on. Beware of Lucas. He might corrupt you. What do you mean? He's a sodomite, a sinner. He might try to get you into the habit, or out of it. <laughs> I didn't know that. Thanks for the warning. I'll say one thing, bro. What is it, brother? Brother Circator, my friend. What would you like? To be relieved from duties? No, I'm here because of novice Lucas. I've heard there's some discord with him. Only because that weasel wants to put an end to our nighttime fun. So we're letting him know who's in charge here. I'd appreciate it if you treat him like a brother again. If he isn't afraid of us, there's nothing to stop him ratting us out. But what do you care, anyway? Grown fond of him, have you? He hates you because you trample all over him and he has nothing to lose. If you show him just a bit of kindness, he'll think again about taking you on. You'll see. Hmm. Fine. You've convinced me. You can tell him things have been straightened out. But he'd better be on his best behavior from now on. Beware of Lucas. He might corrupt you. What do you mean? He's a sodomite. A sinner. He might try to get you into the habit, or out of it. <laughs> I'll decide for myself who I do and don't talk to. I'll say one thing, brother. This wine would grace the Pope's table. I'm not so sure. It's a bit sour. God knows what's in it. Don't be absurd. It's a first-class cask, direct from Znoimo. No, oh, I know the taste of a good vintage of this, isn't it? I bet you that wretch Yorick got the cast mixed up. Nonsense. It's perfectly drinkable. No, it isn't. It's sour. No matter. We'll get more soon. So, good health. Good health. We'll have to take that Yorick to task about where he got this wine and tell him next time he'd better get proper Znoimo. What would you like? Brother Sir Ken what would you like? No, I'm here because of... Only because... I'd appreciate... If he is... I'm certain he won't tell the abbot about what he saw. Are you really? You hardly sound convinced yourself. Never mind convincing us. As for Lucas, he'll be living in fear of us for a while yet. Beware of Lucas. He might... What do you mean? He's a sodomite. I'll just... Why are you waking me? Go away! Okay, we'll have to wait to the next day. And get a save game, so...
we start at 4 a.m. So we're going to cancel it right before 4 when they start getting up so we can talk to Lucas. Leave me be. I want to sleep. The treasure is in the... Watch your step. Pay more attention, brother. Pay more attention, Pay more attention brother. brother. Yeah, Pay more attention, slow down, brother. Slow down, brother. Slow down, brother. Watch your step, brother. Pay more In a rush to... Pay more. Why such haste? Slow. Pay more attention, brother. I spoke to the Cicators about how they've been treating you. Really? Did you manage to convince them to leave me alone? But you have to promise not to tell anyone what you saw them doing. Then they'll leave you alone. That's a promise I'd be glad to make. I'm forever in your debt, brother. Because now I know I can trust you, there's something I want to tell you. It's about Brother Antonius. I wouldn't like to say something that isn't true. God forbid I should cause harm by my words, but this is something I'm sure of. Novice Antonius is lying to us. What makes you say that? He claims he's a merchant's son from Vlashim, and that he joined the Order voluntarily. The thing is, I spent a great deal of time in Vlashim. I know it like the back of my hand, and no one even remotely like Antonius has ever lived there. Are you sure? Because this could mean that... It's true, or Canute isn't my name. That would be my secular name, by the way, but that's not important. I know Vlashem, and I know the local merchants there, and I've never seen Antonius among them. Why would he be lying if he had nothing to hide? Thank you for telling me. I'll look into it. Oh, that's one way to figure out uh, who's pious. I didn't know about this. I didn't do the wine thing in my first playthrough. Pay more attention, brother. Praise be to Christ, brother. Praise be to Christ, brother. Watch your step, brother. What would you like? I've heard you're from Vlashen. Yes, why do you ask? And more importantly, where did you hear it? Since I'm quite sure I've never told you. Honestly, the monks like to gossip more than old wives at the market. Because I've heard otherwise. You aren't from Vlashim. You made it all up. And who told you that? Whoever it was, he's a liar. It's complete nonsense. I've heard you're from Vlashim. Yes, why do you ask? And more importantly, where did you hear it? Since I... I've read the abbot's book. It's got everything he knows about the novices. Why? Why would you do that? That doesn't matter. What matters is the abbot doesn't believe your little fairy tale either. What's so implausible about it? I've always been more interested in books, so I left my brother the shop and came here to live a good life. You see, I'm looking for someone in the monastery. Someone who's lied about who he is. 
And you fit that description perfectly. But I told you, I've never lied to anyone. That's funny. I think you're lying to me right now. Do you think you're entitled to let out justice? Who gave you the right? I'm sorry, but I don't want to have anything more to do with you, Gregor. You're a lunatic, and the Prior ought to be warned about you. Please don't tell him anything. It will put my whole mission in jeopardy. And believe me, my cause is just. Very well, I won't say a word. But you should think twice about what you have in mind. Praise be to Christ, brother. I have everything we need for the escape. Excellent. Straight after Vespers, we'll meet in the dormitory. We'll have to get it all done before the monks have finished dinner. What exactly is your plan? And why can't we do it at night? We're going to prepare a little riddle they'll never solve. And why at mealtime? Because we need the dormitory as well as the church to be empty. Then at night we'll escape. Do you follow? Take everything with you, and don't forget the keys. Good. Once evening mass ends, I'll be in the dormitory. Sure, that belongs here. What is that? <coughs> Spirit of silence sought to lead us at times to refrain even from good speech. So much the more. in another place, death and life. Watch your slow down, down, brother. Watch your step, brother. on the brigand's secret camp. Service? I wouldn't expect too much of it. No? Why is that? There was only a handful of bandits there. A handful? There was dozens of them. And foreign heathens too. Is that right? There was a great big battle. Them fuckers filled the whole of Privy Slavits. The Tambo garrison had to get reinforcements to beat them. There's wounded lying at Tamburg now. And plenty new graves in the Ujets. But they cleared that waspness good and proper. If you say so. But I still reckon we haven't seen the last of it. That Sigismund is still on the rampage, attacking the nobles one by one across the land. And brigands are like weeds. Burn them down and they just sprout up somewhere else. That's not the half of it. What about the attack what would on you Mary? like? While the lords are dealing with one lot of marauders in Pribislavitz, there's another bunch pillaging somewhere else. Have more attention, brother. These novices, 
I pull those idlers by the ears. What have they done to you this time, brother? They're shirking their responsibilities, leaving us, their superiors, to chase around after them, finishing what they don't. Did you have to finish someone's weeding in the garden again? Yet again. I've had enough of it. I don't know, we probably have to make Marigold uh, decoction, so I'm going to make it until he gets here. The pathfinding logic for the game got screwed up, maybe because we waited. I don't know. But hopefully they will start getting out of there. Or they are stuck. Why such haste? Why such haste? Praise be to... Talk to me. Okay, we'll unstuck them. What do you desire, brother? I think... Maybe if we talk to them, they will... Talk move. to me, brother. Nope. Pay more attention, brother. What is it? Or do we... Oh, wait a second. I think we need to meet Pius. Was it up there? I thought it was after the next meal. Definitely need to meet him here, but it was... I think it said evening. Evening mass. So... Evening mass. Where it is. <sighs> morning prayer evening mass is for i don't know i will wait here I hopefully won't get in trouble i think we got some save game should have waited for more meh what did I say about evening mass? Uh, was it 4 p.m. probably? Yes. I think we'll get interrupted by uh, Pius or Antonius if we just wait here. I don't know when this is kind of over, if we can still enter the monastery. Never tried that. But we are going to raise some hell right now with Antonius. Is he down there or up here? I think it should be up here. I really hope I won't mess it up. I can't remember if it was up or down. I 
I think he said after the mess, so they should uh, move away. Not during. We should make our ex escape while they are eating, so... When they get away from here. Oh, Slow there down, he is. Brother. That makes sense. Praise be to God. For a moment there, I was worried you weren't coming. Give me that blood. This is the exact spot where you pushed me off the gallery. Pay more attention, brother. Pay more attention, brother. And here's where you dragged my lifeless body. Thank you for helping me out. Now we must each go our own way. I was glad to help. I did what I needed to do and no one got killed. First horse I come across and ride until dawn, far, far away from here. I was thinking. Here, take this. Show it to those cutthroat bastards and tell them you found it on me. That should convince them. Especially when they hear about the outcry here after the fires found out we've gone. Your lucky die. <laughs> In a manner of speaking, I hope it brings you more luck than it brought me. Thank you. Thank you for letting me live, Brother Gregor. My name's Henry. All right. Brother Henry. May God be with you. Okay, so we should uh, take our things. And uh, we'll see what next. Our things should be in here. Yep. I'm not sure if we enter the monastery what would uh, kind of happen now, but it doesn't matter. We don't have any more quests there either way, so... Uh... Okay, so I actually want to save the game, so I will go to, to the inn here and we'll continue the next video with the quest but before that let's equip our stuff i think we were using this or this sure 
Uh, armor. This monastery quest chain is pretty long and it's actually one of the best uh, quest chains in the game in my opinion, even though it can be a bit annoying at times. Yeah. Yeah, I keep getting stuck. Yeah. Yeah. I think we have a permanent bed here. Yeah, we have. Okay, nice. So guys, this is all for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.